all of the work up front to permit this was based on, on good economics. This was the, the most prudent decision for, for all of us, including our customers. We required our contractors to have a higher level of commitment to safety uh, than we've ever done before, and the results were, were phenomenal. It establishes a big stone plant as a you know reliable power supply for, for our customers and economic and environmentally clean. It's such a long project, people tend to forget. I mean, the first stuff was done in 2008, and by the time the last bill will be paid, it'll be 2017. So it's almost 10 years from conception till death, so to speak. So you spend so many years trying to get it approved, get it permitted, that it's kind of overwhelming when it's, okay, it's actually gonna go forward, and we actually have to produce all the things that we were promising and, and, and trying to design and commit to. You do the work to, to pick the right equipment, people, things like that, you're gonna have the success that we're seeing. Initially, it was uh, with Wardle Guru, Terry Grumman, and Mark Rolfes uh, working through all the permitting type issues, and then Mark formed the team of, of people who would actually get this project built. So Kirk Finney, Tom Herdlichka, and that group of people that got this thing going and, and saw it through to the end. If you think about, we started this project with, I was the only one assigned to it, and at the peak we had over 20 people on our staff, and they all came together, they all worked great, and you couldn't have asked for a better group of people. When we started the project, we were challenged to have a safe project, and so we started an effort that we had never done before. We required our contractors to have a higher level of commitment to safety. We required uh, drug testing. We required at least one safety professional for every 50 craft people out there. We required that the contractor have an on-site nurse. Plus we had a, our own uh, safety coordinator to make sure all people were working in the same direction. And the results were, were phenomenal. Good safety records lead to good economics. You know, um, it all just tied together. We hit the market right on this project, but the execution of the project and getting things done on time. We were in a downturn in the market. I mean, the construction activity for this type of a facility was, was in a valley and we saw that and we moved quickly to get the project built during that time. The customer is ultimately the beneficiary of coming in on time, under budget. Most of the Otter Tail employees that worked on the project are Otter Tail customers too and I think we want to do what's best for everybody. It gives our employees that sense of, of uh, stability as well. Putting a nearly $400 million investment says, you know what, we've got another 20 or 30 years here. We've taken Big Stone, and as far as environmental, we've, we've brought it up to today's standard. It is state of the art. The emissions that'll come out of Big Stone are as good as any other plant. You should be proud of this because it, it's an investment in the company. Uh, the, the company that's been here well over 100 years now. Um, it's an investment in the infrastructure and the people that are already here. It's money well spent that uh, the company will be able to earn a fair rate of return and that's a good thing for our shareholders. We executed a very large project well and we didn't just pay somebody to take care of it. I mean we managed the construction and we managed the commissioning and we were very involved in the engineering. Um, this project has got owner influence throughout. The plant looks great and the equipment is, is running well. Good cost control, good construction results and great safety. Mark is one of the main reasons that this project went so well. I mean he had the, the foresight on the people to, to you know get the team going. Always proactive working with everybody, always fair to everybody. It's been an honor to, to work with him on that and hopefully absorb a little bit of what he's done. I've known Mark, I mean, I'd, I'd worked for him for, for many years and, and replaced him as plant manager 14 years ago and always been a mentor, always very driven and always the smartest guy in the room at all. 
So we always look to Mark uh, for, for answers. It was great to end my career on, on such a high note. I mean, I've had a lot of good experience with Otter Tail, a lot of good times, worked with a lot of good people, but it was really going out on top.